<clears throat> hey guys, this is a uh, video response to a uh, subscriber who asked a question. Uh, he asked a couple questions about the uh, Smithy lathe, which we're going to talk about here in just a minute. It's just off to my left here. Um, he's asking about the uh, power requirements and, um, you know, if at 110 volts it, it actually pulls uh, 18 amps. I'm going to do some tests here, hopefully, if I can find my meter. And um, anyway, I just wanted to make it clear that uh, my channel, the reason I done this, made this channel is to answer people's questions, to help out other people. So if you have any questions, I encourage you to don't hesitate to ask. Just post your questions and I tr I'll try to get back to them. <clears throat> I do have a day job that requires me to be away from my shop for days at a time. So I can't always get back to you right away, but I will. Uh, as soon as I can. So anyway, uh, this is a video response to the uh, current draw on the, uh, the Smithy uh, M M I fourteen forty lathe. So okay, guys, don't repeat what I'm doing here. It's likely safe in no way. Um, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to read that dial. That's about as close as I can get. I think you can read it. So currently with just like the little lamp on, and I'm sure this thing is not perfect. Um, I'm not sure how accurate this thing is, but um, anyway, it's saying about 110 millivolts or whatever little lights on this thing. Um, and the machine itself, let me turn it off. So it's saying about 900 milliamps for the light um, that it's running on there. All right, turn the machine back on. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take progressively deeper cuts. I'm going to start with basically just kind of like a cleanup pass. I'll, I'll try to call out what I'm doing. Um, let me get this here. Um, so first one is going to be, let's see, 3.5 thou per rev feed, and we're at 350, 360 RPMs. Uh, so this is a pretty light, light pass. Um, DRO on here. Oh, it's not on. All right. So that's it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna start with like 30 thou or so. Let's see what it does. about seven amps. We're creating a, uh, a long stringy chip I don't want, so I am going to uh, adjust the feed in a bit. But that's all still in focus here. So we're going to adjust the feed. I'm going to go ahead and double it probably. Alright, so we're going to go to like 5.6 thou per rev. Same depth of cut, double the, uh, the feed. Seven and a half, maybe. Still not breaking. Uh, it's breaking better, but still not fully breaking the chip. Still not quite the chip we want. 7.7 7 amps or so. Alright, so I lost some video there. Um, my SD cards keep dying. I don't know if it's because of the 4K video I'm shooting or what, but I've I've already burned out two of them. And I'm on my third one now. So, um, yeah, they just won't format after a while. You can't delete anything. Uh, they basically just stop. So, Alright, um, I believe we were at... Uh, 
0.0087 thou per rev. And, um, I'd already taken half of this pass, so I'm just going to finish that pass up here. Oops. I didn't have much, I was watching the actual machine, not the dial, so I don't know the way, so we're going to do it again. Uh, that, that seemed to be creating a pretty decent chip at 30 thou depth of cut, so, so we're at uh, 30 thou depth of cut, about uh, 8.7 thou per rev uh, feed, and um, all right, I'm gonna, it was making a pretty good chip, I think, so this would be a cut that I would run this at. Okay, so that was actually still not breaking the chip. Uh, I'm going to try to speed the uh, spindle RPMs up just a little bit. We're going to go up to 430 RPMs. See if that doesn't help break the chip. <clears throat> yeah, but we're only, I believe that was like somewhere just over 8 amps, so we've got a ton to spare. Right, so we uh, sped the spindle up, everything else is the same. Uh, 8.7 thou per rev, 30 thou depth of cut. Now it's making really good chips. Okay, so it's actually making really good chips, but I got my tool post extended way the heck out there, and, and it's uh. Okay, I was having a bit of an issue. My tool post was way off to one side. Um, <clears throat> it was causing the tool post to uh, to dip down, I guess, a little bit. Quite a bit of pressures here. I'm cutting 304 stainless. Um, so we're going to do... I'm going to try like 50 thou at the same um, uh, 0.087... No, 0.0087... Uh, per rev at I, I went ahead and took the RPM back down to 360. Let's see what that gets us. It's not breaking like I want. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it back up to 430. All right. All right here we go. All right, we could probably do better than that. Do 50 thou. That's a pretty darn good chip. Um, I mean, the chips are coming off and melting into my shirt, melting holes through my nylon shirt. Um, so the chips are coming off good, and I only got it up to about 9 amps. I was running. Um, 50 thou depth of cut and um, 0 0.0087 feed per rev. I kind of destroyed my stock here. I don't have much else to work with. 
But yeah, I wasn't able to get it to even close. Um, I was cutting way bigger chips um, on the ch on the video I, I shown. Um, I also had a huge piece of stock uh, to work with too. Um, I'm only using a small piece here, so so I still think you can get it close to its maximum. Um, but but yeah, I mean taking fairly. Depends on what you're cutting. If you're cutting aluminum, it shouldn't be no problem. I mean, I was taking uh, pretty good cuts through 304 stainless, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and record. I still got a little nub here. I'm going to uh, try to see what what I can get out of this machine. So um, I was taking uh, 50 thou depth of cut last time, so uh, let's try like 100. Uh, let's go to like 80. Start there. This thing feeds so fast it doesn't give me a lot of time to uh, to turn everything on and off, but here we go. I can't watch the gauge right now. Well, there's 11 and a half. And that was a really nice good cut on here. Okay, so that cut took, yeah, so it took a 160 thou total off the diameter, so an 80 thou depth. Um, all right, I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna push it up to. Let me clean this edge up, and I'm gonna push it up to a uh, 100 thou. Just trying to clean the shoulder up because it's moving pretty fast and it's hard to shut it off in time. So I've got the step stair step pyramid thing going on. Alright, so let's set the dial. We're gonna go a hundred thou. So two hundred thou overall. Get some juice in here. Alright, I'm starting to put some cooling on now because there we go. I've been just spraying it on. I don't have flood going. Here we go. So, that was beyond something. I think it was probably my insert. I, I don't have my tool. Here, I'll show you. Alright, so this obviously isn't the tool post that came on this machine. Um, and I need to remake a bracket here, I think. But um, this is what I made to to, to fit the tool post, and, and it fits well. Um, I had it way over here off center. Um, from here, I had to bring it back over a lot to kind of get it more centered up. Um, let me see if I can find a chip and not scald myself. Um, I don't really see the chips. There's so many old chips in here, I can't really see the new ones. Everything's kind of warm down here, but they were coming off more or less like these. Um, maybe a little bit smaller because I wasn't going so fast. I mean, it wasn't going very far uh, from just from here to here, and that happened like very quickly. Um, but the hundredth out was too much, so and it's probably the angle of my tool. Um, the reason I have my tool like this was for another job we were working on, but since this isn't kind of perfect, I really need to rework this. Um, this has to be tightened down really hard. Uh, I've had carpal tunnel surgery um, on my both my wrists, and so I haven't. Uh, so so I'm still recovering from the surgery. There, my my video is in there, but it, it still hurts. So I can't I can't put the uh, necessary uh, grunt on this. Uh, by myself. I don't know where I'm focused at here, so maybe this will be, uh, be. Alright guys, um, I hope that helps answer some questions. I 
I, I couldn't watch the thing, but I think it was up to like maybe 16 amps. Um, it probably would have gotten to 18 if I had the tool. It started chattering, but I think, again, that's the, the tool position, uh, angle it's coming at. So, um, Actually, I'm almost positive it is. I think it's rubbing on the back side of the, the tool, uh, the tool tip here uh, a little bit because of the angle. But, all right, guys.